So here's the question. What do you keep your eyes on? What do you keep your eyes on? See, there's this story about this guy named Peter. Peter was in a boat with his buddies and they were out on the water. And a storm blew in and they're rocking in the waves. And he looks out over the water and he sees his teacher, his friend, who at first he thought was a ghost. But then he realizes who it is. And he's walking on the water. And so Peter, being brave Peter, says, hey Jesus, call to me, tell me to come to you and I'll walk on the water too. And Jesus says, come on. So Peter gets out of the boat and he starts walking on the water. What an amazing feeling, can you imagine? But then the story takes an interesting turn. The way it's written, it says, then Peter looked at the wind. And when he saw the wind, he got afraid and he started to sink. Now I've heard that story a million times. I've read it a thousand times, but I don't know that it ever dawned on me that it said Peter saw the wind. Now think about this. I'm trying to think this through. Of all the things that were of immediate, clear and present danger to Peter at that moment, it wasn't really the wind, it was the water. The wind wasn't gonna kill him, but if he fell into the water, he could drown. That was the most important thing. That was the critical thing that could be of injury to him. But even more important than that was the one who called him onto the water. Why wasn't he looking at the most important thing? Why was he looking at something that really had no ultimate bearing? But now I realize that's what we do. We create worries. Someone used to tell me, don't borrow trouble. That's what Peter was doing. Why do we look at the things that matter the least and cause ourselves the most grief over the things that matter the least? I'd give it to him if he was looking at the water and was afraid of the water, but he got afraid of the wind, which was the last thing to be afraid of. But more importantly, why weren't his eyes on the most important thing? The one who called him onto the water. That's the challenge. Can we keep our eyes? Can we keep our focus? Can we stay focused on the most important thing? That's part of the challenge. Day four of February. What are you keeping your eyes on? Moeo, everywhere we go.